Hey YouTubers, I wanted to give you a quick update on what fibre to the premises looks like inside the UK. So I found this schematic which shows an idea from the exchange where the fibre optic node is generated out to the aggregation node and then finally split off either to a roadside cabinet box, the green box, or off to the premises. And you can see here that uh, it goes through a variety of different splitters and finally gets put through to the house. In our case, we have a CBT, a connectorized terminal block. Uh, we had our network being installed early part of uh, 2018 and these guys were laying the various fibers. This picture shows you a CBT on a pole and a smaller unit next to it. And here's a CBT being installed in the underground uh, pavement boxes in the area. This CBT has eight connection points on it, you can see here, and uh, this is providing it to the village. Uh, this is our point where the aggregation node is, and this is our ag node being put together, and finally it's being connected up to the main body of the fiber optic and our nodes are being spliced together. So what happens when you place uh, an FTTP order on BT? Well, first of all, you need to check out to see if you can take FTTP, uh, and as you can see here, we can. Uh, the installation on the day, they will come along and they will lay blue uh, ropes down to your feed. So here the blue rope is being fed down to the roadside box. Uh, and then it actually has to double back on itself and go up uh, to the cabinet. But as you can see, there's the blue termination into here. Here's our pavement box and there's the CBT there. And finally, this is our fiber optic cable actually laid to the house. This is where it's connected into the CBT. So ours was one of the first. And this is the uh, reading of the optical power meter, uh, which gives you a good idea as to the strength of the fiber optic connection. On the day, this is where it's being installed in my study. So you can see the BT guy has drilled a hole into the wall and it's going on the outside of the wall here. This is the unit itself. So inside this box is actually the uh, optical device for reading the fiber optic signal and then the battery backup. And you can see the little batteries there, which are supplied with the unit. And the unit is powered by a single power supply. Uh, once uh, the hole is drilled, then the fiber optic cable is fed through the wall, and here's the mounting plate where he's preparing to actually put the uh, cabinet itself. So the black fiber optic cable needs to be uh, cut back to expose the fiber optic core. Here's one he prepared earlier, but uh, it didn't work, so uh, we have it on the desk. And then the fiber optic cable gets placed into the optical reader and you can see the green connection is where the fiber optic cable is actually fed into the unit. Once the unit is uh, being fully configured, uh, you can see all the lights uh, come on. Uh, so you'll have the fiber optic uh, node uh, light, which is the PON. Then you'll see uh, the uh, information about the power. And finally, the flashing light is showing ethernet traffic between my router and the unit itself. So you need uh, a wireless router to connect up to this so that you can get the broadband signal. So just some final pictures of the finished unit on the wall and also the cabling on the outside of the house. So the black cable is the fiber optic cable. After installation and running it for a few days, we're getting 149 megabits down and 31 megabits up, which is phenomenal compared to what we used to have. Please like and subscribe. Many thanks.